Five apple, take three. Beat. We thought the 7th guest was huge, and it was. Uh, and we went off to make the 11th hour, which we thought would not be, and it turned out to be maybe twice as big. There's close to um, two and a half hours of total, total video in the product. Of that, about 66 minutes is the film type video, another 15 minutes is in the house film type video, and the rest is all computer graphics. going to be just a sequel to The Seventh Guest, and technically that's how we approached it. But um, as we started to do The Eleventh Hour, we realized that uh, we couldn't do that. It had to be a lot more complicated. It was So we had to, to reinvent a lot of our own technology again. You know, it gave us an opportunity to take what was a gothic horror story and uh, update it, contemporize it, and add some more you know, fully fleshed out uh, three-dimensional characters this time. You play the part of the famous television reporter, Carl Denning, and um, you're uh, investigating the disappearance of your producer in the creepy old Stark mansion. In the early months of 1993, the movie script is complete, and artists begin developing the look of the 11th hour. The forbidding house is created with 3D graphics, but now a cast of live actors must be brought inside the computer. Their actions blended realistically and believably with the furniture and other computer-created objects. So I would place a generic synthetic actor in the general place of the room where we needed them to be. I would then give this rendered background to our video um, director who would shoot the live actor in a blue screen overlaid over on this background. It's about time. Tell me what you want. Oh, it's waiting. Robin. Carl. Carl, where are you? Never mind him. He's an illusion. Tell me what you want. The Eleventh Hour contains a 64-minute movie shot in Southern Oregon. All right, let's go. that there was uh, some necessity to, to really link the dramatic story with the gameplay. We're bringing live actors into uh, the situation, and we're one of the first of the games to, to, to do that in, in a high-quality way. And we freed up the camera, too. We, uh, no longer is it just like mounted on a tripod in the, in the middle of the room. We're, no, we're uh, doing it. a lot of cinematic motion with uh, cuts and close-ups. Deadlines make it necessary to shoot the entire movie in just 10 days, and unpredictable May skies create more headaches. But the use of live actors is adding to the pioneering nature of the interactive drama. To shoot the interior scenes that will take place in the 3D virtual mansion, the crew moves to a converted warehouse using a technique to blend real actors with computer graphics. Are you ready? Ready? For what? 
Uh, we did a lot of blue screen work for this film, which is very complicated and uh, calls for a lot of uh, you know, sophisticated lighting techniques as well as a, a great awareness uh, by the actors of what they're doing because they're working basically with nothing there that will with things that will be placed in the screen later on so they have to be working against a uh, a, a blank background I don't know the problem was trying to keep the architectural geography in my head because as I changed from one camera angle to another camera um, uh, what we would do is we would reverse the positions of the actors, um, then we'd just try and figure out exactly where that camera should be for that point of view. Doctor, get out of here. I'm scared. Well, wait. Where's the problem? Robert Hirschbeck, who haunted the mansion as Henry Starr in The Seventh Guest, returns to lead the cast of The Eleventh Hour. The Chuck Day. Well, Henry Starr is uh, maliciously evil. He's your worst enemy, your best nightmare. He'll give you anything you want. And he knows what's in your soul. And he'll get you every time. <laughs> Compression basically takes one, si one single image in the 11th hour, which is a very large image, and squashes it down into um, a couple of hundred bytes instead of it being a couple of hundred megabytes. And it takes it and it makes it much, much smaller. And that's the key to the technical uh, success of the 11th hour. We're a company of technicians and artists, and uh, you know, whatever artists uh, want to bring to the party, that's and, and you know, if we find good story and and a, and a good way to tell it, that, 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 yeah, that's what we're going to do. So far, four women and three men have been victims, fitting a pattern of homicide, and several others are missing. Robin Morales has been missing for more than three weeks and seems to have vanished without a trace. Hello, Dr. Thornton. Robin Morales. I'm a producer for Case Unsolved. What can I do for you, Robin? I'm researching a story on the staff mansion. She's the producer for the very popular and flamboyant Case Unsolved reporter, Carl Benny. You're the only person who survived an encounter with the mansion. Who told you that? Everyone else has either disappeared or died. Soup's on! The newspaper said a guard dog tore your hand off. What really happened? Out! Jeez, Marie! What are you doing? I want to know what really happened the night you and Eileen Wiley went to the Stock Mansion. Eileen got her hand bitten off by a guard dog. I don't believe you. So what? What really happened to your hand? Bitten off by a dog. Probably one of those damn Rottweilers. It was a dog, a vicious dog. But really, Doctor, what did it look like to you? Blood. It was a mess. A bloody mess. <laughs> She's always been evil. She's behind the violent happenings in this town. Just take this knife and get that TV producer. Do you think the current rash of murders and disappearances are connected to the house? Please. <laughs> Oh, God! Chuck him into the soup. That house is not what it appears to be. No! Don't do it. 